Uh, Deputy UG Murphy, Finnegal TD for Roscommon, Galway. I think this is a really positive evening uh, for uh, Badness Law and the surrounding districts. Uh, we all know that there has been difficult times in the past economically for the region. Uh, we can't continuously talk about that. Now is the time to be planning, planning for the future. We have a motorway here. We have a very, very lively uh, community uh, in the region. We have a town that you know, can develop very much into the future. And with that loan on one side and Galway City on the other side, there are ample opportunities now for Ballinus Law. And I think this evening, you know, the launch of this Pulse Club, uh, it was very clear to be seen that there are many young people in the audience who have ideas, who want to start a business, who want to commence a business. And I think it's really a great positive statement about Ballinus Law and the people in it. And as far as I'm concerned, I will be giving the club uh, all of the backing I can give it uh, throughout the uh, coming months and years. I always say that there's no experts on Brexit, uh, and I often uh, smile to myself when I see we're, uh, on, on, on maybe national radio or TV people saying they're joined by a panel of experts. The fact of the matter is none of us know what the outcome to Brexit will be, except to say in terms of parts of the Irish economy it will definitely be a very negative story. I'd be particularly worried about small business, rural Ireland, food businesses, farmers, I think they would be very badly affected. Uh, we don't know where we're going to stand with this backstop. We don't know whether there are going to be border controls. The absolute and total chaos in England, our biggest you know, and closest uh, trading partner, um, and so much of our product, so much of our product that's, that's manufactured and produced in rural Ireland, we rely on Britain for that product. Now, if there's tariffs, extra tariffs on that, uh, I believe a lot of the small food outlets, and I believe a lot of the small uh, farming um, outlets will be in bother. They want us our own position as a party economist. We are actually supporting government policy at the moment. You know, this is a national issue. I think we have to part uh, party politics and work with the government. And in general, we are satisfied that the government are doing the right thing. But remember, until something happens in England, until there's an election or until there's a second referendum, uh, there's very little Ireland can do. But we have to try and, I suppose, organise on the basis that it could happen. But I think everybody's wish is that it won't happen. Well, I have to say, Colm, I have a really good relationship with the people of Ballinasloe, and as a Rossi, I, I thank the people sincerely for that, because I regularly hold clinics here in town, uh, and I regularly visit people in town and get quite a lot of reps. But one of the biggest things, Colm, for me is the 50-bedded uh, unit for Porto Yonkla Hospital in Ballinasloe. That is a huge issue. I've been down there at the hospital at the request of management. There's total you know, chaos down there in terms of you know, corridors being full up of uh, machines, uh, no proper places for staff even to go and have a cup of tea. You know, the distance between beds and the wards is, is it's, it's so close. It's, it's really shocking. Now, I have spoken to the Minister for Health on numerous occasions about this, and he tells me definitely, you know, if this is ready to roll, what's needed is the funding. And it would appear that we might get good news about that funding in 2019. I hope that comes early. Everything else is ready to go, as they say, Colm, it's, it, it's shovel ready and really the hold up now is the announcement of the funding. If the announcement of the funding came, I would hope within months that project could, could get underway. That is vital for Bannon's Law, that is vital for you know all the people that use it and of course up to a thousand people really in, uh, employed in that hospital and we have to put the proper facilities there and I hope that 50 bedded unit will come uh, quickly and uh, hopefully be announced uh, in 2019.